Welcome to episode 9 of the Daily PvP Challenges. In today's episode, Link and myself must try and wrap up our gear. We'll have an hour and a half on the timer and we're allowed to do anything we want except resource skill. We are live on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday and we often stream these live, so make sure to check us out over there. Alright guys, this is episode 9, but this is the last episode where we have free reign to kind of do whatever we want on these accounts. The only thing we can't do is resource skill in this episode. Everything else is fair game. I've decided that I do want to try Brit in this fight, so I'm going to go magic, I'm going to go melee, I'm going to go range. We're going to try to, you know, bring the trifecta to the fight and hit him where it hurts. And we're going to start by getting the Zamorak Cape. There is so much I want to do in this episode and so little time. So I'm going to explain it all as I go. So the first thing, let's start the timer. Pray at the statue of Zamorak and we're going to get one of the capes because I just feel like that is going to be best to actually bring in the fight for the plus 10 magic attack because like I said, we are going magic. And that means we got to get our hands on some mystic. The cool thing about getting the Varix Brasser drop is that it doesn't give much negative magic attack. We're going to get some magic legs, but we got to take a quick look at the bonuses. Now I'm killing shit by mistake. I just dropped my balls of wool as well because in all honesty, you know, I can just buy them from a shop at this point. Magic attack is looking okay, but we can get this even better. All right, let's go on a little alking spree because we need some space. We don't need those rune legs anymore. Uh, we can now alk the D-Sim. We have to make sure we hammer that zombie axe as well. Uh, it's going to ask me for a special message there. Anything else? I guess the rune axe as well. We can't resource skills, so fuck it. It's gone. Uh, did that register? No, it did not, but boom. Now it did. Okay, um, I want to get the Book of Darkness. Book of Darkness. No, it's going to be rewards. I'm trying to rush it. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Or maybe I should go for a Zamorak book. Uh, because I'm not going to have an offhand range attack. I mean, that's going to be plus 8. 49 51 but my range my range might struggle a bit uh i guess we could hold on to both for now but I, i'm thinking about using the um the unholy the unholy we just bought a measly little hammer so we can uh fix this zombie axe now this thing is absolutely amazing but the last episode is the randomizer so i won't brag just yet on having a good weapon over link but as of right now we're, we're looking all right. All right, next up, we're going to kill... I believe it's the angry barbarian spirits over here. If it's not, it's the skeletons. It's the skeletons if it's not these guys. But uh, let's check. We want to get... First of all, get out of combat. And let's see, let's see, let's see. We want the U-Log. Do these guys not drop the U-Log? No, they do. One in 10? Why was I thinking one in 25? Okay, well, let's hope this is really quick. I freaking died because of the dragon. So... I might try to go kill the skeletons instead. Oh, come on, just... Oh, this is a nightmare, this is a nightmare. Oh, there it is. I'm out of room, so I'll drop the hammer. We're gonna have to just buy one back again, which is annoying. We got an Addy Bar drop. I got rid of my blessing because I can't bring it to the fight anyway. Um, so yeah, we gotta sell some of these runes or something because that this is such a bad inventory. Alright guys, so an hour and a half of doing anything we want except resource skilling. So that is one of the reasons why I'm actually here. I need to get a U-log together. And uh, the only real easy way of doing it is to kill the uh, the monsters down here. Not the dragons, but the skeletons and the brutes and stuff. Uh, they drop U-logs because I want to make a RCB up. So, plan is to go down there and hit them up and see if we can get an RCB. So, I'm going to start my timer. And I will let you know when we get that U-log. There it is. We get the U-log. Very nice. Actually got a strength mix. Right, I've got rid of a load of stuff. I've gone with... I'm going to have the brimstone ring instead of sapphire rings or recoils for the fight. I've just decided that I'd rather have the offensive and defensive bonuses throughout the whole fight and not take up an inventory slot for a second recoil. And I'm going to start selling some chaos runes. Because I want to grab myself some rune ore. Because obviously we can't mine it. And this is going to be way quicker than just killing something and hoping I get rune ore. Yeah, I think I'm going to get diamond bolts E. I'm not going to do any mage in the fight, so I'm actually going to get rid of all of my deaths and chaoses here. Okay, so we want one runeite ore, and then I, I'm going to have to buy the coal here, because otherwise I'm going to have to start like juggling 
and running around. I can actually drop the balls of wool as well because I'm not going to go with the glory. I'm going to stick with the dragon bone necklace. The only difference between the dragon bone necklace and a glory is um, we get nine more prayer bonus with this and we lose four melee strength, which I'm not too bothered about losing the melee strength for the fact that I'll have way more prayer bonus than he will. I'm going to drop the lobsters. I've held on to them for so long, but I need to try and be doing two trips. Gonna buy myself a hammer and a chisel now. All right, we're gonna make ourselves a runite limb. And then we are gonna make ourselves the bolts here as well. I'm gonna get a few more bolts together, obviously, but I just wanna save the inventory space because we're using a lot right now. And we're gonna start making these in two bolt tips. All right, I'm officially deciding that we are just gonna drop the unholy book because I can't think of any other range offhand to use. Well, it's the Book of Law, but this acts as both. Uh, we're just going to dump all the Astrals because we're not going Venge in this fight. Um, I should probably... I mean, I'm not going to waste time even selling that, to be honest, for chump change. I guess I could sell the Law Runes as well. Because we can use our Construction Cape right now, so that's kind of pointless. These I need, obviously. The Elementals I'll keep for now in case I have to like enchant anything or anything silly like that. Okay, one of these guys sells coal. Ring, ring. I'm so pronouncing that wrong. Um, okay, we're going to drop some stuff. It doesn't matter what we drop because we're going to pick them back up. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're going to buy eight coal. Is that eight? I don't know. We're going to find out. Superheat. Pick it all right back up. Pick it all right back up. Ultimate Iron Man struggles. So now we got to get a hammer back, actually. And, oh, we got to kill a cow. So you know what? Let's just let's just pop a home telly, kill a cow, buy another hammer, and then make the crossbow. Well, it's a good thing there's a knife spawn right there because I would have forgotten it otherwise. So we're going to spin the sinew. Sinew. I always get yelled at that I don't pronounce it correctly. I think I just say sinew normally. Uh, you got to chop that into a stock. Oh, I got to smith the... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm wasting so much time just running back and forth, but I'm 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 not used to having my inventory full. Bars into limbs. And then we still need the hammer to shove the long thing into the smaller thing and then that should be the crossbow right there. Boom. Okay, we could drop some shit now. Well, not okay. Well, we won't drop it yet, but there's easy stuff to clear now. All right, one of these guys sells soul runes. It's not that guy in the rune shop. I know someone here sells it. This is a general store, but it does sell. Okay, I don't really know the lore behind that. You know what? Before we do that, let's actually... Uh, oh, I can't mix it because it's... Oh, fuck. That's so annoying. Okay. Um. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. Um. How much are these? Holy shit, that is expensive. But you know what? We're on a time limit and I have lots of money. This is for Blood Barrage. Honestly, it's one a cast. I'm only going to probably buy 50 more, and I'm happy with that. And then oh, we got to sort pots. Fuck, we got to sort pots. All right, we're just going to use the bank to unnote one eye of Newt just to uh, make an attack potion just so I can uh, get that out of my inventory. We could drop that. I mean, I'll throw it. Ah, uh, no. Actually, I collect them. You want to see something cool, guys? Eye of Newt. Look at that. I mean, I have this really dumb collection tab, but that's beside the point. So unfortunately, I think super combats are off the table. They're pretty easy to get, as you guys know, but it requires going in the wildy, and I'm not willing to risk all this stuff. Now, we'd probably allow us just buying our stuff back, because in all honesty, that would completely ruin the entire series if one of us just died and lost everything right now. But... I will die if I go the wildy, and if I do die, it would take an astronomical amount of time to buy everything back. And overall, I just don't think it's worth it. So I'm going to do the more boring approach right now, and hopefully these guys drop me their super defense, a Cadentine to make a super defense, a Lantadime, I think it is to make a ranging potion. No, it's a Dwarf Weed. Dwarf Weed to make a ranging potion. Lantadime is magic potion, and I was going to say Renar, uh, but we just got one. Although I probably want two pots in the fight, so I guess one more to make three three doses to make those into four two doses and we'll just get rid of the extra dose uh but yeah we gotta just round out our stuff here bit boring content i apologize but it's crunch time we gotta do weird stupid things like this oh cat in time cat in time and i just realized i need these law runes i need these law runes i i sold all mine but we need them to 
get a wine of Zamorak. Oh, I hate having my inventory full. Okay, we could just pick that up, but there is a white berry. So that is literally the super defense created. Uh, we're still holding out for the dwarf weed. I'm trying to check right now. There's a quicker way to get it than these guys. Okay, we finally got another Renar. I need to actually drop something. I think I'm just going to yeet my mind runes. Uh, because I'm definitely not going to use those. Unless I go like Ivan in the fight. I mean, we still need the dwarf weed, but I need to make these pots to clear up some inventory spots. All right, we're going to have to drop some stuff again. But again, don't worry. We're going to pick it up. We just got to buy some of these... Let's fill all these up, get the leaves in there. Let's make the super defense. Nice, so that is a super set completed. I think my strength's on the uh, ground there. Nice. So we need to pick up some snape grass. That's really easy to do. Okay, that's gonna be two prayer pots. I'm not gonna bring three. I, I can't stomach the, um, the extra inventory spot. Let's pick up our super set again. We're looking good. Oh, I got it. I mean, did I, I mean, I got the wine. So, don't really care. Don't really care. Okay, let's put those on. Addy bolts, use those on there. Nice, and then put the Earth Battle Staff on, and we can start enchanting these guys. No, we can't. We need this one. Crossbow, there we go. There we go. Happy days. I'll probably just get rid of this holy blessing as well. We don't need the diamond bolt tips. Don't need that either. We need to get some sinew, though. So, let's go kill a cow. And put that together, and we have ourselves an RCB. Lovely diamond bolts. And in this setup right now, we have 121 range attack. But I think I'm going to get myself an unholy book, because that will help with the range attack. And uh, we also have negative uh, bonuses coming off the Dragon Defender, if we have a quick look here. Um, negative 3 magic, or negative 3 magic and negative 2 range in both attack and defense. So it's probably better just to get ourselves the uh the unholy book you know what it might actually be a better shout to go with the uh book of law because we get 10 range on there and my plan would definitely be that i go back to the defender when i'm meleeing so yeah you know what we'll go book of law we'll go book of law very nice all right now i'm gonna try and get a ranging potion together the temple spiders drop dwarf weed and they also drop grubby keys all right i think i'm gonna have to give up on this dream because i gotta start thinking about actually getting like a super combat together or at least super attack super strength stuff like that so i'm gonna go kill chaos druids um because they've just got a way higher chance of dropping qualms which is gonna be my super strength i've got a super attack uh ready here um so yeah let's go do that this place is absolutely mobbed with bots in every freaking world and a dragon simi probably would have been better to use here but i'm gonna come here instead because i think these guys have a quicker rate of drop because i can kill them much quicker than i can kill the other guys which is quite nice uh and they spawn pretty nice too which is awesome so we're still hanging out for the dwarf weed i think that's a better upgrade than just going for the addy bolts diamond enchanted that i also want i mean i'd like both that's the goal, is to get both. We gotta hop. We gotta hop. Um, but if I had to pick one or the other right now with 35 minutes left, I'd rather get the ranging potion. I think that's a bigger upgrade. Every world! Oh, there's a dwarf weed on the ground! Oh my god, no, wait. Don't drop the vial. Don't drop the vial. Uh, I messed up that clip royally. I went to fix my timer because I'd minimized it and paused. And when I went to do that, I accidentally stopped the recording. But we did just make the ranging potion and the correct timer is 30 minutes left on the clock. Okay, so we're going to get some feathers right now so we can focus on getting broad bolts. I may use these broad bolts. I'm, I'm going to think I'm going to just kill one more just in case as well. Um, I might use those broad bolts to then kill Aviancies to get Addy Bars to maybe make that into diamond bolts. But right now, we're just going to stop at the broad bolts and then do other stuff like get Karam Wands. I want to try to buy a DDS. I need a diamond for that. Uh, actually, no, I don't need a diamond for that. I can just go to Rosalo and get it for expensive maybe get some weapon poison things like that i still think those are better upgrades than getting diamond bolts as well let's buy three of these open those puppies up oh we got a spam click that's okay make these real quick so just simple broad bolts they're equivalent of addy and they're just really heckin easy to get so Nice and simple there. 300 bolts. I am more than happy with that. We can just drop those and let's pick up our stuff that we keep having to drop. All right. Which one is it over here? Is it you or is it you? Dragon Dagger. 
Nice. So let's hope it actually hits in the fight. We're just going to keep the, um, the Yaddy Arrows on the ground. Because screw it. Oh, I'm going to drop my Noted Anti-Poison and pick up this. Not that it really matters. Same thing, honestly. There it is. There it is. There it is. Weapon Poison. And then bang. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I kind of just hung out here because I feel like I don't have enough time to make Addy Bolts enchanted anyway. So I was just holding out for a grubby key because there wasn't much else to do. Been playing with my inventory a little bit, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to uh, have it and what I'm going to keep and what I won't keep. I'm going to get one more kill and then I'm going to buy a few Karamb wands. Uh, we'll just drop the runes we don't need. Um, like cosmics and stuff because we're not enchanting anything at this point. So let's just kill this one. Let's tell you out of here and wrap up episode number nine. All right, we're going to run up here and trade Alfonso or Alphonse, the waiter. Uh, we'll just get two more. I don't think I'll use them, but we have a minute 17 left and there's nothing else to really do in that time. So we will... Um, get two more and call it there, guys. So... Let's see what we're deciding to keep and what we're not deciding to keep. Oh, I got the dwarf weed. Nice. I still don't have the quan though. That's what I'm waiting on. Uh, did make up a prayer potion. Uh, I'm sort of making stuff as I go because they do drop vials of water as well just to save myself some time. So there's the dwarf weed into there. Very nice. We've also got a irate potion and a canatine potion as well. Uh, so a super attack, super defense there. All right, I'm going to kill some cave crawlers now because they drop a load of the secondaries that we need for these guys. There is some white berries, which we need to make up the super defense. You know what? We can actually dip out of here now because I can buy the Eye of Newt for the Iret and I can get the the uh, wine of Zamorak myself. All right, let's telegrab the wine. Nice. I will get another one because I would like a four doser. Right, then we use that on there, make a couple ranging potions, nice, and we have a four doser for that. All right, I'm going to get myself a raw Karam one here, and then we're going to go ahead and cook it. We're going to go ahead and poison the dragon spear, because it's still a decent weapon, and it has a decent chance of poisoning him. Uh, and if he does bring an anti, then I'm just, you know, literally trading one inventory slot with him, so it's, you know, it doesn't make sense not to do it. So, let's do that. Yeah, proceed. Boom. And then use that bad boy on there. Very nice. And then I'm going to trade with Diana here and get ourselves a dragon dagger. Very nice. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to go and make up another prayer potion just so I've got two. I think two is probably the sweet spot. So we're going to quickly hit um, the teleport to Remington, pick up the snake grass, and then I'll just go kill those druids again, which would be super quick. I had about six Raynars in my inventory, but I decided to drop them, so that's a little bit annoying, but yeah, so I'm going to go for that. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think we're going to get a Quam together. I mean, we'd have to be really quick, and then I'd have to get a Limpwort route as well, which I guess I could get one here, but I'd rather get the Raynar, because the, uh, the Quam is looking unlikely. First drop. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, make that up. And is that a Quam? Oh, it's a Canatine. No. Oh, that would have been amazing. Guys, I got the Quam. I got the Quam. Two minute 38 left. Oh, I should tell it to Remington, not that. Rumi, 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 Rumi. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. Come on. We just need a limp work route. This should be easily doable. It's like one in four, one in five from the Hobgoblins. Quam in there. And boom, we could have a super strength as well. Very annoying that I didn't get this earlier because we could have tried to make a super combat as well. But. It's not going to happen. We do need a four dose of everything and a torstall. So, yeah, there's no way we're getting to that. But just a limp route, please, in two minutes. Let's go. Let's go. First drop. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. We have a super strength. Unreal stuff. Okay. Well, I've got a minute 55 left. There's not really much else that I want to do. So, what I may actually do is I may buy a couple of those Karam ones. Um, just for these last two slots, because I think it'd be quite nice to have a couple tick eats or combo eats. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll grab those two Karam ones and cook them quickly. Although we can cook in the next episode. That's the one thing we can do. There we go. A couple Karam ones to go with our shark. So let me show you my setup. I'll stop the clock here. Uh, let me show you set up my setup, what I'm going to be doing. Um, obviously, we do have a randomizer episode for episode 10 before the fight. So maybe some of the gear will change, but my inventory will probably be what I show you. So uh, yeah, let me show you. I had to make a lot of tough decisions on what to bring and what not to bring because my inventory was filling up way too fast and I banked a lot of it, guys. I banked a lot of it because I can't go in the fight with like nine pieces of food, uh, especially going magic, having to have the pouch, the magic switch that takes up more spaces, all these pots, it's disgusting. This is the magic gear. This is the range gear and that's the melee gear. I think my melee is heckin' sweet. I think it's really, really, really good. I think my magic is meh, and I think my range is quite blah. I think range is going to be my weakest combat style, which kind of annoys me a little bit. Um, but I guess it is what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to think what else I could have done. I, I banked the body. Maybe I could have gotten a mystic top instead. Banked the Varix top and kept the dehyde body. Um, but I think that messes up my magic a lot more than, and I, I would like to keep magic pretty versatile, but I had to bank a lot of stuff. I even banked my dagger. I banked my second recoil. Um, we just need food. We just need food. And this gives us a, an okay amount. And this is what I'm going to lock in. I can't believe I banked my spec weapon, but it always hits zeros anyway. Just feels weird because I literally just went for it as well, but is what it is, guys. All right. This is the plan. So obviously next episode we can cook. So I'll cook the rest of my shark together and fill the inventory with sharks. So imagine there's sharks all there. So we have 133 range attack in this setup here, which is very tanky as well. Also 54 magic um, defense bonus. So even if he mages, like, I have huge defense. It's really thanks to these um, given a massive amount of defense so yeah the plan is to use that and then switch into melee as well um when i'm close to him and then if he does go for freezes then we will use these with the diamond bolts e um and then we're going to use the spear to try and get that karam one poison off on him again as i said earlier he may bring a super and then that's fine you know no worries um i am bringing one just in case he decides to try and poison me as well so yeah that is pretty much the plan um this will be just for poisoning i won't be trying to do any dps with it but it's still a decent weapon in terms of like um aggro stats so we will see uh, and then obviously got a prayer potion put one too many prayer potions away obviously we've got two prayer potions um and then we've got a super strength super attack super anti-poison super defense and the ranging potion as well so we're, we're covered everywhere it's just a shame we're using so many inventory slots for all of our stuff but hopefully that just makes us an absolute beast in every aspect that's the setup let's bring on the randomizer for the next episode and then we get into the fight 